LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stay in drawing. T-minus 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Pupils pitching downrange. Plus 40 seconds into flight, and Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. We're now throttling down our engines in preparation for max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. We've got an awesome, supersonic. awesome view of first stage of a Falcon 9 there on your screen. Max Q. There's that call out that we've passed through Max Q. Now we're just about 10 seconds or so away from those three events. That is Miko, stage separation, and SES-1. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Then back ignition. And there we just had Miko and stage separation. On your right hand screen, you're looking at that MVAC engine on the second stage confirming SES 1. And a good call out. That stage two Both is nominal. Continue to follow nominal trajectories. Both vehicles are nominal. Separation confirmed. And there you can see on your screen the fairing halves have been deployed. All right. As stage two heads towards its targeted drop off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin 1D engines will reignite. And this helps slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. The second burn is the landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. We're about T plus four minutes into flight, and if you're just catching up with us, we had a successful launch of Falcon 9 from Cape Canaveral, a space launch complex 40. Stage one is cruising back to our drone ship, just read the instructions in the Atlantic Ocean. Seco. And we've had second engine cutoff one. Also signal stage two from the Cape as expected. As a reminder, Falcon 9 is equipped with four hypersonic grid fins positioned near the top of the first stage on stage one, using nothing but, uh, excuse me, that guide it back during its re-entry uh, to the ground. Stage one entry burn startup. And there we go, we have entry burn start. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. Beautiful, and entry burn cut off. Stage one's gonna continue its descent to our drone ship, just read the instructions.
To land, the Falcon 9 first stage is also equipped with four landing legs made of state-of-the-art carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb. These are placed symmetrically around the base of the rocket and deployed just prior to landing. Stage one landing burn. 10 seconds out. We may see a video cut out here. Stage one landing leg deploy. All right, and there you can see we've landed first stage on our drone ship. I'll just read the instructions. This marks our 76th recovery of an orbital class rocket and the sixth recovery for this particular booster. Take a look at this animation showcasing where we are in the coast phase. We'll see you back here in about T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relight. Welcome back to the webcast for our 21st Starlink mission from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. And there you could see it was a very, very quick burn. We did have SES-2 and SECO-2. We had a call out. Nominal orbit insertion. There we go. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and four minutes. Welcome back to our webcast for Starlink. And now we are coming up on the deployment of our Starlink satellites. Hello, deployed. Now you can see those Starlink satellites out in space drifting away from second stage. As a reminder, this is just their drop off orbit. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. If you're interested in Starlink service, head over to starlink.com and sign up. Thanks again for joining us, and have a good morning.